The Alamance Burlington School System pleaded with county commissioners today for more money. The school district owes millions after cleaning up mold in several schools. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake was there for today's heated meeting. Amber, school leaders say they didn't get enough money and they may have to make staff cuts. That's right, Julie. ABSS says the county doesn't prioritize children. County commissioners say the school system doesn't handle its money well. They went back and forth for hours this morning. Well, I think Stop. I Stop! This is ridiculous. This is a pissing match, and I'm sick of it. I Today, the district said they needed $5.2 million to pay off the remaining mold bills. It also wanted a little over $3 million for the PAYGO fund to pay for projects and improvements. That $3 million was denied. We're just constantly in this state of something breaking down, coming to beg for the money and getting uh, some funding reallocated. So now what do we do? Uh, we still have uh, security cameras that need to be installed. We still have all of these things that they have now taken money for mold remediation. Like how do we pay for all of those things that were on the list? You saw the list today. Now how do we pay for that? The county reallocated $5.2 million in school bonds. Commissioners also gave the district $1.2 million. All of this money will go towards mold bills. County Chair John Paisley, along with other commissioners, questioned where ABSS has spent its money. One of the commissioners said, hey, we need to find out. We have bond projects. Bond was passed in 2018, and those bond projects are still sitting out there. Money's unspent. Um, and of course, inflation is tremendous, and we're paying for that now, that delay. That should never have happened. Now the school board says it's back to the drawing board to see what they need to do next. The district already issued a hiring freeze to cut costs. Amber, thank you. You can still take a look at the mold remediation reports on the Alamance Burlington Schools website. The reports include information about where the mold was found, what kind of mold was found, and post remediation air quality. You can look school by school at reports throughout the full remediation process. We have a link to the dashboard on our website, WFMYNews2.com. Just search for ABSS Mold Dashboard.